guys welcome i'm biz pixel and today i'm creating this video specifically for people who have the basics of understanding graphic scale and people who are using the using the unity game engine so first we're going to start by curating sprites so we, i'm just hopping into graphic scale right now as you can see and then we are going to create our little character from that character we're going to expand on out on creating our little small little 2d game with jump functions move functions and a basic scrolling background so here we go so file and then you're gonna create new and then you're gonna instead of doing 64 by 64 and we're actually gonna start by 32 by 32 all right <clears throat> so we're gonna just zoom in here and so this is our first panel and what i'm thinking about for a character is something just something very simplistic something very easy um not looking for anything complicating i'm just gonna for tutorial's sake we're gonna create something simple so i'm gonna grip i want to create i mean i'm gonna grab my pen tool and we're gonna start jotting down a few things. So I know I haven't been on lately because um, of school and also I was working on a game that I was very, <laughs> that I was very, very into. Um, but a lot of things have happened and right now I might, I want to get back into the action of creating videos for you guys. I know I haven't been really uh, focused on the community, but um, I've been pretty occupied with personal things. But um, so yeah, so as you can see, I outlined my little character. Um, I don't know something like something related to Mr. Biggs, um, but it's something a little bit more. Uh, how would I say? I don't know, something a little bit more cuter. Mr. Bix is a little bit of a rough dude. Let's give this guy the most oblivious face ever. Like, <laughs> so, so I'm going to use a rectangular tool and I'm just going to move this up. And um, I don't know if I should do some arms. I don't know. Maybe some arms, huh? Uh, some. Just like Mr. Biggs. Let's do some little arms or something something strange <laughs> all right so we got four two two cells all right so we got a little character yeah, nothing too fancy something very simplistic um i'm just gonna use my rectangular tool as you can see and let's pull this character down real quick <clears throat> so right now what i want to do is work on this <clears throat> His idle animation. So, we're going to go down here to the arrow. And then we're just going to duplicate this. And so now this is the second piece to our animation. Um, what I forgot to do was, as you see these three dots in this, in this icon, you just click on it. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna turn this down to 30 so it doesn't go too fast or too slow just right um, we're gonna use transparency color and we're, we're gonna do the same thing for number two turn down this to 30 frames <laughs> 390 <laughs> I don't think so and then since this is gonna be a little idle animation I'm just gonna grab the top half of this character use the rectangular tool obviously and bring it down and actually I'm gonna move this face up a little bit actually let's see how it looks over here if you look to the right and you see the small little screen there's the animation 
itself, and eh, I'm okay with it. I mean, like, it's something simple, something simplistic. Actually, let's add a little um, character. So let's make him have, like, a... <laughs> that doesn't even look right. Let's take that down. Yeah, let's make it like that. <laughs> so I guess a little... Um, I don't know what the hell that is. Got a little hair over the top of there. And so now he can, as you know, he's, he's, he's different, you know. <laughs> Nobody's going to mess with him. I don't know if I should do, maybe two is good enough. I mean, <clears throat> actually, I'm going to move this down a little bit so it just makes a little bit more sense. So now you can see it looks a little better. And then um, we can add another frame. Let's see, number three. You're gonna make him get low, low, low. Look how adorable he is, oh my God. All right, so we're gonna just duplicate this, number two, so we just have a kind of a funct functional animation going on here. So um, let's duplicate this. And as you can see, one, two, three, four. And now we got a little animation going on. And actually, for his mouth, let's just... Actually, let's just do like this. So it uh, closes his mouth. Uh, it's a little cute little thing. Let me actually zoom in 400%. By the way, th this... I know if you guys are just hopping in and you don't understand what I'm doing and how, what the tools I'm messing with, actually, there is a um, playlist in my YouTube channel that um basically um teaches you how to use the tools. Um it was one of my first tutorials I ever made. So it's a little bit rough but hopefully it'll get my um hopefully my tutorials are understandable. Um all right now let's uh what should we do? So we got a little animation going on. Um what else are we gonna do? We should make a simple walking animation, just right, left, whatever. So let's duplicate the first layer, the first animation. Um, okay, let's duplicate this. And we're gonna just call this walking. So he's just gonna walk right, left. Something this is very simplistic, something easy. Um, so we're going to just move this, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to move this leg up a little bit. Then we're going to just duplicate this. Actually, no, we're going to duplicate the first one since, since I want them in the same stance, basically. Or not, we could change it whenever. Alright, so one, I'm going to bring this foot down, okay, I didn't do what I exactly wanted to do, but actually I didn't think I did it right, um, move this one up, and so now, he gets a little walking animation, I actually want to eliminate the extra cell of color. feels like it's not needed there so now we got a little walking animation and everything so he's gonna walk right and left eventually these are gonna translate so what happened is that when I, once I import the sprites and I get into coding this is actually gonna flip around depending on how is he going to do it? So basically, this is going to be like he's walking to the right. So in, in um, Unity, I actually want to flip it when I hit a certain key. So this will be over here. So <coughs> for simplicity, this will work actually pretty well, I think. And I don't think I'll have to make any more animations. Actually, 
one more thing we could add a jumping animation so i'm gonna duplicate the first one again and how will i do this if he jumps i'm just gonna move his arm up instead down actually let's move actually let's put let's move this whole arm one cell block down so it looks like this <laughs> so 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 far we got our idle animations so let's just actually name all these so we're gonna put idle zero one idle zero two whoopsie don't want that idle zero three idle <coughs> oh sorry i'm coughing a lot idle zero four walking walking one walking two jump all right so this is the whole animation we got our idle we got our walking and we got our little jumping so what we could do is add a little some add a little color a little flavor to him Hmm, what should he look like? You know what? How about we just make him green? So we're gonna just give him a light green color. Here. And now uh, he got some little. <laughs> he look like he's doing a little dance over here. And so we're going to go down one more color. Actually go up one more color. In terms of values. And. Actually that's a little bit too dark for me. Um, What we could do. Is that we could just pick this color. And. We could. Actually move this down. In terms of the, the values of the colors. Move this down by 105. Nope. I could do 100. This will change. I'm just gonna make a. Oh! Lord have mercy. Water! Alright. There we go. What it looks like on here. Yeah, give them a little flavor. Make it simple. So, although I'm just creating the character, just for this first tutorial, um, <clears throat> what's gonna happen is that um, I'm actually gonna teach you guys how to make a sprite sheet. So, although you, for developing this small little character i just want to show you guys the process of how usually people approach first when making a game in general so let's just make this right here You know what? This character, the voice is just gonna be like, you know, <laughs> kind of like the if you guys know, like if you guys played Mario, you got Yoshi and all those, and you got that little I forgot what that that weird one looked like. I mean, the weird one 
like what sound that she makes. Okay, I forgot. Uh, it's the one with like the big hole in the nose or whatever. I forgot her name. Uh, I always thought that was I don't know if that was Yoshi's girlfriend or anything like that. I forgot what it is. I forgot. Damn it. Somebody please comment. Tell me if you if you know what I'm talking about. Please just actually no. I got this whole thing wrong. It's the 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 Koopas or whatever they are. Not the Koopas. Um, the ones with the white mask. Hope I'm saying it right. I don't know. I don't know my games that well anymore. <laughs> I haven't played games in a while. I've been creating them mainly. But um, yeah. So okay, we got this going on here. Um, it seems like it's working well. Um. All right. So, f for the sake of the video, and I don't make this too long, as people suggested that it's better for me just to make a very short video. Um, I'm going to end this video here right now, and I'm actually going to jump into you guys um, making sprite sheets for Unity, and I'm going to teach you guys how to break it down in Unity. So... If you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, peace out, baby. <laughs>